Now, this past weekend, a cricket returned to the field in South Africa in the Solidarity Cup. Three teams played a winner-takes-all match, but it was significant for another reason. Before the match, all players and match officials took a knee in support of Black Lives Matter movement. And the support for this cause was uh, create, well, ha has created the opening for players of colour to speak out, and one of them being former Proteas uh, quick bowler Makaya and Tina. And Tini rather. On Friday, we brought you part one of an emotional interview on Makai and Tini's experiences with the national team. And today, since Valen had a much broader discussion with him, we bring you a little more in part two of that discussion. You must understand two things. You know, the ratio doesn't come within your own players, but you know, with the environment that you at, you can really sense that there is a leg a bit off it even though he's not been thrown right in front of you so so those are kind of things that we need to be very clear on it because we can't really say that uh, putting names on on a certain people and says you were racist he was racist but you know they, they're doing around you you know they were the signs of uh, this has never it, it could never been done to the certain you know, uh, uh, a face but because it's you. And then a little, I will say, little, little remarks, you know, they were thrown time to time. But, you know, we have to swallow whatever that, that was trying to us because of um, the reason what we want to achieve in, 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 a, in an individual uh, point of view. What are some of those things that you had to swallow? Do you think about them? You know, if, if, if I, can, I can be just very clear with you, you know, um, Cricket was, uh, was our job. We play cricket because uh, that's how we, we feed our family. We play cricket because we love it. And then it brings a lot of, uh, um, I would say, better lives into, into us as, as individuals and better lives into our family. You know, so when we were introduced into, into this kind of sport, it was... Um, and always a saying that, that you can make a living out of it. So when that happened, you know, you, you, you almost cut everything surrounded you and focus on this because it's, it's, your, it's your bread and butter, you know. So when, when you're talking about thinking of things that had happened to you, but you had no choice of swallowing them and stay because this is your work environment, and then uh, for you to be able to stay here and, and, and work for a longer period of time, certain things you don't even have to associate yourself with. You just wrap them off and walk away from them. It should have been a case that nobody should have ever had to swallow anything because they were scared about perhaps losing their place or losing their contract. You, 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 you are 100% into that because um, I, look, I look at my journey and then I, I, I think of things that actually were happened to me alone, not with the rest of the team. And then now how things now all of a sudden, you know, um, they came out in a way that uh, is almost like a rich color. It's almost like, a, you know, um, they were not just being done to you for the sake of the benefit of the rest they were done to, to you so that you can be able to feel that. I, I don't think that after 1995 and then 2020, we're still experiencing those kind of things. You know, we're still experiencing you know, the individuality when it comes to, to our sporting, sporting codes. Those things, they shouldn't have been, you know, happening from the, from the word go. I would say the freedom in our country we should have thrown, you know, the, the history and the, and the contract. If you remember the contract situation where the players had to go underwater to blow uh, rugby balls. Are you going to blow all rugby balls underwater? You know, that was silly. You see, so those kind of things, I don't think it, it, it should be things that we actually, the, the players of today, they still experiencing it. No. Have you been surprised by some of the comments that you've heard from players you, you're talking about being surprised. I was shocked. I was so shocked in a way that uh, it, 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 it takes us back 
you know, and then I remember, you know, a certain part of, a, of, of the small incident. I, I could even, while I'm at it, I could, I could uh, throw up the word and say, this is racist. There's no way that you can do this thing to me. But he, saying it jokingly, you know, not, not putting, you know, um, a foot onto it, but it continued. It, it, it became a normal thing. So then when it, when it comes a normal thing, you know, you, you end up getting used to it anyway, because you know that it's going to happen. So for you, then it's, it's a matter of uh, should I take this for the benefit of my family or should I take this for the benefit of the country? You know, so those are those are the things that they had to go through my mind. Some of them I might not even like liking them or some of them I might just being surprised why they choose me, only me to do them. And the rest just walk away and continue with their lives. If we're playing, I'm, I want to put in a, in, a, in a two example of things. You know, I remember when we were in, uh, in Guyana, we toured in Guyana and then uh, we lost, the, we almost lost the game, but we drew the game. And then I was called aside. And then I was told right in front of me that I, I need to pack my bag, I'm going home because I'm not good enough for this team. Then that on its own, you know, it, it, it made me realize that, okay, if in the 11 that takes on the field, and then you be the only chosen one that you need to go back home because you're not good enough to, to play for the, for, mm -hmm. for, for the Proteas. Then I waited and waited. And then that on its, on its own, it, it rings a bell for me now mm -hmm. that it was not just being said for the sake of being said. There was a, a, a certain, you know, a, a, a red mark into it. But I was never being sent home. So it was almost the second one. I was I would say to you, it's either it was a threat or it was something that they they didn't know how to swallow the way that we played as a as, as a team, or they were looking for the the weaker guys that they can be able to, you know, to 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 climb on top of them. You see. So that on its own, it, it's probably it's a story of another day because nobody has ever explained to me why I'll be the only chosen one to be sent home. I'll be the only chosen one in, in, in an accident that the team loses, loses by innings, and then loses by just, not just by innings, an inning with a certain period of runs, but you'll be the one who get dropped out of the team. You look at that. Be the only one being dropped out of the team, and then never, never wear the jersey again. Look at it that way. Do you think that uh, if we had, we had a, a guards to stand up then, these things are will have happening now? It's been quite an eye opener for me because every time anybody ever talks about you, they always talk about the man with the raw talent who was a cattle herder who defied all odds, took on the world, took on lords, rewrote record books, and always was cheerful. And to think about that person with the kinds of stories that you are telling me now, they just don't seem to resonate. It doesn't sound like I'm talking about the same person, you know? <laughs> we needed we needed to find a way you know if if we are honest with each other it's almost like you you go to the army you know when you're in the army you have a, a commander you have this particular person out at you all the time because you are not wearing your 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 clothes proper your your it really became that kind of feeling but you had to find your way to conquer those kind of things. You had to find your way to, to make yourself feel welcomed, you know? You make yourself to feel that you belong within, you know, the, the environment that you are in. But nonetheless, yes, television makes, you know, people look so different, but not knowing at the end of the day, at the end of the day how things, you know, are. But at the same time, we can't be talking about those things. You know, we always say this one will pass as well. This one will pass. You know, look ahead. What's coming next? You know, 
You know, I think I think the uh, the other thing that uh, I couldn't be chased out of um, cricket at the early stage because I was not drinking alcohol, I was not smoking, I was forever in the gym. So when it's a team meeting and I'm late, I'm not late because I was uh, at the shopping center. You know, I was late because I was running. You know, I didn't look at the time that I'm. Um, I'm going to be late or I rain too much. You know, those are, those are kind of things being shattered that we've been looking for you. Where have you been? You are late. The meeting couldn't start because you are not here. The only thing that will actually help me is for them to see that I'm soaking wet. I just came back from the 20K run. You know, I didn't have watch. I didn't, I just ran because I look at the sun and see that it's still early. And then I forgot that uh, I'm running in Cape Town. The sun said later that. (laughs) 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 So the six six o'clock meeting is is already, you know, long gone past and then you are not part of it. (laughs) 